D, wait for it. Light bulb. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? So I'm coming at you today with a story. It's a little bit older. Um, I was going through all my my articles that I was going to cover for Sunday, but uh, I only do three. And this one just, you know, I, I don't know why I didn't do it. Um, because I, I first off, it's about Percy Jackson and casting. And first off, I love Percy Jackson. Those books are great. I can't wait to read them to my kids because they're just so good. And I also can't wait to... Uh, you know, see the show. Um, the movies were terrible. Uh, but uh, yeah, and, and I love uh, Greek mythology. I just love it. Um, I remember when I was younger, you know, it wasn't my book. I believe it was my dad's, but I remember reading it and I really liked it a lot. Um, and then, you know, there was like Hercules, the, the Disney animated show. And I was just fascinated with like Greek gods and like, you know, what they were the gods over and like the stories of like Hercules and Antilles or uh, uh, Tilly. Gosh, Antilles and uh, and uh, uh, what's his face with the boat? Uh, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, so uh, Jason, Jason and the Argonauts or whatever. And I loved all those uh, those uh, claymation movies and stuff. I was just fascinated. I loved it. So anyway, so the books of Percy Jackson, I really liked those. I've read all of them. I even read the Egyptian ones. There's only that that trilogy, but I read all of the Percy Jackson books, uh, even when they introduced the Roman gods and stuff. And I just really love him. And I love Rick Ryan and how he's, taken Greek mythology and Roman mythology and he's kind of intertwined twined it with modernism you know and I'm interested to, uh, if I could speak interested to see what he does with this TV show sorry I just needed to wet my whistle but I am quite excited to uh, see what he does all right Let's read this article that comes from Variety. And like I said, it's a couple days old. Sorry about that. But I had covered casting before and I saw the trailer and stuff. And and I just wanted to uh, talk about this um, more casting and stuff. So it says Percy Jackson Disney Plus series cast Adam Copeland, Suzanne Cryer, and Jessica Parker Kennedy. I remember Jessica Parker Kennedy because she was on Smallville. Um, she played Plastique. Um, I remember her from there. They'll probably, I think they do mention it in this article. Anyways. We go on. So it says the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series at Disney Plus has added three new actors into its <laughs> gosh, sorry, to its cast. Variety has learned exclusively Adam Copeland, Suzanne Cryer, and Jessica Parker Kennedy are the latest additions to the cast of the series based on Rick Riordan, Riordan's Percy Jackson novels. If I could read. The trio joined previously announced series leader Walker Scobell. Scoble and series regulars um, Aaron uh, Sim Hardy and Leah Sava Jeffries. I hope I said their names right. If not, apologies. Copeland will appear in the rec as in a recurring guest star role as Ares, the god of war. And he was in, um, I can't remember which book he was in, but um, he's very cool. He's got like shades and stuff. And I believe he rides a motorcycle. I'm like 90% sure he rides a motorcycle. It's very cool. Maybe they'll mention it here. Anyways, um, Ares is described as handsome, very handsome in a wicked way and arrogant, despite not always being the sharpest tool in the shed. He loves conflict and acts as an agent of chaos everywhere he goes. Copeland is best known as Edge, a WWE Hall of Famer who returned to the ring in January 2020 after a nine-year hiatus due to his medical issues. He is also an accomplished actor, having uh, appeared in shows like Vikings, uh, Haven, and The Flash, as well as films like Money Plane and uh, Inter uh, Interrogation interrogation if i could read again uh he's repped by some fun people um let's go look back up and look at copeland there he is i don't remember i don't remember seeing him wrestling but you know i don't really watch wrestling an overwhelming amount of uh stuff times so but uh yeah aries is a good character for him to play and uh i can't wait to see how they do it I, in the books he's got like a leather jacket with the little spiky things he wears sunglasses because when he takes them off you can see fire in his eyes at least that's what i i remember i might be off it's been a, it's been a, a, a little while since i've read those books i'll definitely try to go back and read at least the first one before i um watch the tv show so it says crier 
will guest star as echidna ooh the mother of monsters she does show up at one point in time we'll have to see i want i'm very curious to how they'll do that with echidna anyways the character is set to be dangerous intimidating and strangely uh, maternal she enjoys her task of challenging heroes and will test percy's faith in the gods Cryer previously starred in HBO comedy series Silicon Valley, as well as the ABC sitcom Two Guys, A Girl, and A Pizza Place. She has also held roles on shows like The Fosters, All Rise, and Shameless. She is currently in series regular in the upcoming AMC series Straight Man, starring Bob Odenkirk. I do like Bob Odenkirk. Odenkirk, sorry. Um, but uh, yeah, okay, Echidna, yeah, she's the mother of all monsters, and the Hydra is in um, this one. I can't remember if she's before the Hydra or if she's after the Hydra, um, but yeah, Percy does fight her. I won't tell you who wins, but I'll just say Percy Jackson makes it to the Latin, the next five books, so I'm pretty sure she he's gonna die. she's gonna die. Okay, in fact, I know she's gonna die. Sorry. So as Kenny will guest star as Medusa. Ooh, that's a good role. Um, in the infamous, uh, the infamous Gorgon, per uh, her official character description, Medusa is wronged by the gods and bitter. Medusa lives in an isol in isolation until travel stumble upon her imperioria emporium. Uh, she is welcoming to some and threat to others. Kennedy is known. Um, and I do, there's, she's only in one part in the book. So I'm pretty sure that's all she'll be in here if she's just a guest star. Um, but, um, if you saw the movie, she has like this little emporium, um, and you go in and you don't come out because she gets everybody, men, women, children, everything. And then, um, yeah, I won't tell you the rest of it. You know, although, go watch the movie, although they didn't do it very well in the movie. Anyways, Kennedy is known for playing Nora West Allen in The Flash. Oh, that's right. She is in The Flash. I totally forgot about that. As well as for playing Max in the star's pirate epic, Black Sails. She totally played in Black Sails, too. I forgot about that. And her recent TV uh, roles include The Old Man on FX, Colony on US Network, USA Network, and her film credits include Gemini, the perfect guy and 50 50 she was also in smallville i just want to say that um she is repped by some fun people per the official series log line percy jackson and the olympians tells the fantastical story of a 12 year old modern demigod percy jackson who just coming to terms who's just coming to terms with his newfound divine mm, powers when the sky god zeus accuses him of stealing his master lightning bolt with with help from his friends grover and and Annabelle, Percy must embark on the adventure of a lifetime to find it and restore order to Olympus. That's right, because the overarching story is he goes to Olympus to see his dad for the first time, uh, who is Poseidon. And while he's there, they think he steals the master uh, Thunderbolt, which he does not. I'm just going to give that away. Um, and so he's trying to find a the master Thunderbolt and, uh, you know, has a lot of fun going on the, on the, the way. The guest star cast also includes Virginia Call, uh, Glein Terman, Jason uh, Manzukis. I love Jason Manzukis, Megan Mullally, Tim Sharp, as well as Dior Good, uh, Good John, Charlie Bushnell, and Olivia uh, Olivia Morton. Yeah, the Disney branded television show is currently in production in Vancouver. Um, Disney revealed its first look of the series at D23 in September. Ryden, Ryden and John Stein are writing the pilot and James Bowden directing. I'm not going to read any of the rest of this stuff just because it looks like a lot of producers and stuff. But yeah, so there are the three actors. And I think that out of all of them, obviously she as a kidna, if they do it right, she'll have like a kind of like almost like a snake like lizardy look. But we'll see what they do with a kidna there. Um, obviously uh she's gonna have snakes for hair um yeah and then him i'm not quite sure if they'll do the fiery eyes but let's see if they do that um i have seen it in tv before so we we shall see um i've seen it done really well uh but yeah 
Uh, so we'll see what they do. All right, tell me, what do you guys think about this? How do you feel about Adam Copeland playing Ares, Suzanne Cryer playing Echidna, and Jessica Parker Kennedy playing Medusa in the new Percy Jackson TV show? Do you like this idea? Do you not like this idea? You know, uh, who is your favorite character in those books? Did you read all those books? Which one was your favorite out of the first five? Um, I'm not talking about the ones after. Mine's the fifth one, just because there's that huge battle in, at the end, you know, in New York on Manhattan. Um, it's fantastic. I love it. Um, but yeah, tell me what you guys think. Uh, go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind if you need my channel. Please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And we'll see you guys on my next uh, video. You guys have a good day. Bye.